Hello and welcome to the video. This is a slightly more specialised video from the ones that I tend to make. Specifically, it's about RTK GPS and N-trip casters. Now, N-trip casters are the things that will send the corrections out to RTK GPS. Now, I did an entire video with Ben where we set up a basic setup using Hollybro GPSs and showed how RTK GPS works. Do you need RTK GPS? Well, if you're not sure, go and watch that video. I'll put a link down below. The very short version is that RTK GPS takes the general accuracy of a GPS fix on a particular location from a meter or two down to sub centimeter accuracy. And the way it does that, it has a base station that is fixed in one position that's very accurately positioned. And what it does is it listens to the variances in the GPS signals, and then that correction is used with the drone, plane, quad, whatever it is, to get that sub-centimeter accurate fix. Do we need this in the hobby? No, we don't really. But there are people who do use it, people like surveyors, architects, techs, archaeologists, people doing reconnaissance, those kind of things where you need to know exactly where the model is and where it's looking, RTK GPS is used very often. Now in that original video, Ben used a Holybro base and talked about how you would kind of position that and use it. However, you have these things called N-trip casters and they allow you to have corrections up to about 20 kilometers in each direction and how you can set those up yourself. Now, I'm not gonna get into too much detail because Ben is the expert here, but Ben's been playing with a new way to do it, which is a little bit more flexible and potentially a little bit cheaper as well. So if you are an RTK GPS user, maybe you're a surveyor or an architect, or you fly drones professionally, then stay tuned, because this might be of interest to you. Over to Ben. Okay, so today we're gonna to have a look at um, setting up an N-trip caster. So what this is, is this, uh, we've done some videos before about RTK and uh, for RTK to work, you need uh, to get your corrections from somewhere. So previously we looked at plugging our own base into the same computer. So putting a base into the laptop, sending corrections using Mission Planner to your drone. Um, what this system allows you to do is basically send the corrections over the internet. So if you don't have your own base, um, or if you're a surveyor, for example, you might pay for a subscription service or, or a correction service, sorry, such as um, Topnet or services from Leica, um, where you see, receive some login credentials and you can get those uh, corrections over the internet from a SIM card. Um, people might also use bases with built-in radios. So what, what this is, this is some of our products we sell, the, the MLED uh, Reach series. Emlet have produced a um, caster and there is a totally free version. Um, pretty good. Uh, there are some limits to it, to the number of bases and um, the number of simultaneous corrections, uh, connections, but actually this, this meets most people's needs and there, there is some scalability for people wanting to um, go beyond this and maybe look for nationwide coverage. Um, there is restrictions to, in general, how this technology works, how far away it can be from a base before the error just becomes too high. There's, there's various different distances quotes from that. I think on this sort of equipment, it, it could be up to 60 kilometers away. Um, so one of the reasons for making this video is that this is something I'm in the process of setting up on our sort of buildings and flying fields, where we will affix a permanently mounted base that will then uh, transmit corrections um, using this NTRIP caster. So you get RTCM messages over the internet to any device that can receive this. So this could be our drones, this could be survey equipment, not just a custom drone. If you go and buy a, a sort of enterprise DJI drone that has the features to accept corrections. So RTK is becoming standard on many devices now. So what we're going to look at today is how we set this up. So we have to set up our equipment and we also have to set up, um, we have to register, get a free account and take some settings from, from the Emlet Caster service. So let's sort of delve into this now and see how we go about the first steps in this video of um, setting the devices up. And then in a later video, we'll, we'll physically fit this base to a roof <laughs> and um, make sure it all works. So let's, let's have a little look. Um, this is the MLID website I'm shown here, and I've just simply searched for MLID Caster, um, and we've got an option here, sign up or sign in. 
So let's have a look. We have signed in here, and this is this is what the you'll be greeted with uh, once you put in a few details. Um, what we have here is we can have five mount points, so we can have five bases on this free subscription, and we're going to set one base up. So we're going to have a uh, the RS two. I think we have here. We're going to have that set up permanently mounted on top of our building with a permanent power supply that is going to be connected to our network via Wi-Fi and that has to be told um, that's this particular mount point and it's going to send these corrections it's going to point to caster.emlid.com um, and a particular port number and it is going to um, once it is surveyed in as the base and it knows its position it will then transmit these corrections and you can then log in if you like or receive these corrections on your rover by using a particular username and password and put the address in uh, what's nice about this is you can actually have 10 simultaneous connections now previously we used to uh, pay for a um, entrip service and very annoyingly you could only have one at a time so it was very frustrating um, and the cost can spiral quite a lot as your sort of team and needs grow so i think the offering here is is pretty good um, and again, you can pay for a greater service if you are looking to put bases all over the country. So we're doing this because um, it's going to make sense at our sort of flying location that we will essentially just have RTK on tap. We will have a very easy way to um, get corrections to all of our drones. We use Mission Planner. We connect it to the internet. It's there. Um, most of the drones we use have a GPS that is RTK capable, so it is just going to be a simple click of a button to start using the corrections for almost anything we use. Um, it also allows us to have a base in the local area, so if we demonstrate some of the surveying and we use some of this, this equipment, um, it will just be there and on tap. Um, we have the hardware, so for us there would be no additional cost involved in this. We do get, because we're a sort of dealer of Emlid and we sell the, the bases and the rovers, um, people have asked about this before. And I think we, there's a lot of interest in um, small and medium companies who want to sort of have control over their own uh, correction service. So they could be um, it could be fleets of delivery vans, it could be farmers and um, tractors and various different plant on building sites. So this method here is a really good sort of way to sort of test this, these principles before expanding further. Um, you just need some form of base from Emlid, like their RS2s. RS freeze, um, and then you can connect it to basically any any device capable of receiving um, the RTCM messages. So we had a little look there on the Emlid website size on the CASA side, and this has given us our credentials for our bases and for our rovers. Let's now just connect back up to the Emlid unit. We've got the page open that we require here, which is base output, and we've selected from the drop down that it's going to um, end trip output. We put in the address that we were given um, in our um, Emlid caster page. So you can type in the actual um, address like this or the IP address. We have the port number, then we had a mount point and then a password. So what would now happen is, um, and we're gonna we're in the office now filming this, so sadly we have no satellites, no connection. Um, what would happen once the base has a uh, fixed position, it then starts to transmit these corrections and if we were to go back to the Emlid caster page where we're saying offline now because we're inside and not connected, this would then become available and we would now be able to access these connections. It is that simple. So you have a bit of setup registering for the free caster account. You then need to put your credentials into your base and your rover and very quickly you will soon be <laughs> have the system set up. It really is that simple. So on the... Um, Emlid caster page here we had our mount points and then we've got the the rovers so this is uh, the details you need to access this correction service and like it says you can have 10 connections at a time so let's have a look at what we would do in mission planner to get these corrections to our drone so i'm just opening mission planner here we're in the setup page optional hardware and then there's a tab here for rtk um, GPS injection. In a previous video we did this where we connected uh, the USB base so that was in the drop down. What we would do now is we can, there's a one here for Ntrip and we're just going to press connect here. This is asking for that information so you have to type it all in manually but it's asking for the address so that was a caster.emlid then we have a username, password, then we have the um, 
port number and the mount point. So typing that information in here, it would save it and remember it. And then that would appear as you are directly connected to the base. So you would actually get information about the base, the number of satellites, um, the accuracy from there. And then once you have connected to the um, NTRIP service, you would then use that. And you would, if your drone's connected and your drone has um, satellites, you will then see the standard procedure where it goes from a 3D fix to a RTK float and an RTK fix. So that's what we're going to demonstrate in our next video. We're going to install the uh, base unit on a roof. We will get it connected and then we will connect to our drone and also show connecting to a bit of survey equipment how we are using our own um, entry caster to receive corrections. Thank you for watching my video. Check out the playlist and adding Payment360 to your search terms will help you find my content. If you haven't done so already, please hit the like and subscribe button. It helps a lot. You can support the time I spend here answering questions and helping others by using the links in the video description.